It's important to know the starting point that we're going to take in this video. All the part of installing the Oculus applications for PC and Android, creating accounts, the terms and conditions to accept, configure the Oculus in developer mode from the Android application, all that set of tasks would be a previous step that we will not cover in this video because I have no way to show it. Maybe in the future I can do it with another device, but for now in the description I leave some links and information that can be useful for this previous stage of initial configuration of the Oculus and the developer account. What we are going to do in this video is create a Unity project, import the Oculus SDK, configure whatever is needed, make a build for the Oculus Quest 2, install it on the device and make sure it works. I'm going to start by creating a new 3D project in Unity and when the project opens, the first thing we're going to do is switch to the Android platform because Oculus works with Android. Once this is done, I will plug the Oculus to the computer and in the build settings window, click on the refresh button so that the device appears and I can create a build and install it directly from Unity. If your device doesn't appear on this list, it's probably because your Oculus is not configured in developer mode or it may also be that you have to enable USB debugging in the Oculus options. In case you can't get your Oculus to appear on this list, maybe you can still create an APK build and then install it on the Oculus using the Oculus Developer Hub. With the device connected, drag the APK file to this window and the application will automatically install on the Oculus. Now what we're gonna do is to import the Oculus SDK for Unity. You can get it with this link in the corner or in the first link in the description. So I will drag the package to Unity and for the moment I'm gonna import everything. At this point, some messages appear. Here what I do is simply follow the recommended settings, always trying to use the most updated features. So far, I haven't got any problems with this. When we are done, Unity restarts, and in this case, a scene with an avatar appears. I'm gonna use this scene to make a build, but we still have to do some things before that. We go to the build settings window and click on add open scene. Then click on this player settings button to open that window. For convenience, I like to place this window next to the inspector window. In player settings, go to the XR plugin management tab and install the plugin. When it finishes, go back to the same tab and activate the Oculus checkbox. Notice that an Oculus tab is added under the plugin tab. Make sure that the Quest and Quest 2 checkboxes are activated. Ok, we finished with that. Now we have to change the color space because otherwise it will give us an error when compiling. In the project settings window, go to player, then to other settings and change the color space parameter to linear. Right now I'm just modifying the lighting parameters a little bit to adapt it to the new configuration. I'm simply lowering the intensities of the light sources and also mark them as important in the render mode parameter. Now we are finally ready to create a build for Oculus Quest 2. Go to File, Build Settings and with the device connected, click on Build and Run. Choose the destination folder, give it a name and save it to start the compilation process. When this process is finished, the application runs automatically on the Oculus, but you can also find it here. Coming to this application menu, here in the drop down menu, go to Unknown Sources and here would be listed those applications that were not yet uploaded to the Oculus Store or are not verified. So this is the scene that we compiled. It's a little bit strange because the person is fixed in front of the camera all the time, no matter where I'm looking. Uh, she's moving her lips in a weird way and she has a disturbing look. But the important thing is that we can compile applications for Oculus Quest, so from here we can start building something a little more interesting. I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next one. Cheers.